Food self-sufficiency has been a goal of mine for a long time. My orchard of stone fruit, apples and pears is starting to produce. The chooks are pumping out eggs. The herbs are abundant and I've got tons of veggies in my patch and right around the rest of my property. But I've been positively aching to plant my citrus grove because that will complete my year-round abundance of fruits and vegetables. To do this, I need some expert help. Now Ian's helping me with my citrus grove. To cope with my conditions of frost to minus five, salty bore water, and soil that saturates in winter, he's recommended trifoliata rootstock for all my trees. Trifoliata has been proven all over the world in extreme conditions, mm -hmm. like Japan, uh, where it's colder than you've got, it's more acidic, it rains even heavier, and still they grow good citrus with a particular variety, Satsuma mandarin, mm -hmm. and they thrive. And now's the right time to be planting, now that the ground's warm? Absolutely. I've always said this, you have to consider your microclimate, your backyard. When your spring comes, you can keep planting then right through until early autumn. If you have cold soil, roots are given a clear signal not to do a thing. Mm. And so if you're planting citrus in the winter time, they not only sit there and do nothing, but if you get your then heavy winter, mm. the roots rot. Mm. even though the rootstock might be resistant to wet. Okay. So that's why we need warm soil. The slope here will help a little with drainage in my heavy soil. But to be sure my citrus don't get wet feet, I'm planting into raised mounds. I've prepared each mound with a lot of aged cow manure and some brought in soil. I've mixed boosted pelletised chicken manure into each mound, covered it with mulch, and then allow this mix to settle for several months to encourage the soil biota to multiply. Now, to planting the Ian Tolly way. I'm going to dunk this to get it all wet and soaked and in preparation. Okay. If you can start thinking about putting the mound in the bottom of the hole, then we'll be, go to the next step. Sounds great. So we've got a good soaking for the tree now. So squeezing it, plenty of water, and the bag comes off. So look at the size of those root systems. So it's over to you, Sophie. How exciting. Once we've got it in the hole, we have to understand that we keep the top of the roots close to the surface mm -hmm. because they're roots and this is top. You can't bury too much at the top. You've got to get the roots close to the surface and a board like this across there gives you that height to set by. So if you set it there yep. and hold it, now nothing changes. So we're making sure that the top of the soil is where the roots begin. Yes, and the top roots, you don't want those in the road for the moment. Just hook them under your hand. Mm -hmm and spread the other roots around as much as you can over your mound. Mm -hmm. You see, they're already coming down to the outside edge of this hole. They are, looks great. So we start now uh, putting some soil in, but, okay. but we want to do it gently, like okay. that. Now, we've got enough here, and you let go of those roots. Okay, and they'll now sit on the next them layer in the up. Next, the next layer up. Now that the roots are covered, you can put it in any way, which way, it doesn't matter, because you're not disturbing roots. Okay. And we use our fingers just to firm it a little as we go. Mm -hmm. So you can get it without compacting it, because we want aeration. Okay. And what I've just done hasn't affected aeration. But if I jump up and put my boot on it, it certainly <laughs> will. And I see that happen, unfortunately, all too often. Now we can dig in and just gently pull out from away from the centre, we can make a ring. Yep. OK, and so now it needs to be watered in, I presume? Absolutely. Can we use that water we washed off? I think it's a good idea because there's a lot of potting media in there with nutrients uh, in it as well. The mix itself is quite good stuff, so yep. we might as well make use of it. So just gently in Just the gently hole. put it in, yep. All up, I'm putting in 24 citrus. You can see the planting plan and the plant list on our website.
With a little help from Richard, my oh-so-handy husband, I'm making a particular type of tree guard from Rio Mesh, 50% shade cloth cut to size and cable ties to lock it in place. Okay. Now we've got the opening facing east in and that's important, isn't it? Yes, because you need to get total protection, but you need to have access. Mm. And if you do it from the east, you're protecting it particularly in the west against sunburn. Mm -hmm. You'll still get aeration right through the 50% shade cloth. Even if you get a direct wind from the east, it can only go to the other side and then stop. So mm. it's not going to cause any damage. And so the little bit of spike we can push in the ground so yes. we get it nice and snug. Right. But then we still have to secure it. Yes, okay. so a piece of Rio rod. We can let you hammer it. Come out. I'll just use a couple of cable ties to secure it. And we're done. So obviously, Ian, mulching is an essential finishing step. Yes. But it's very important to use coarse mulch like this because it's so coarse. There's so much air in it. There's not going to cause this tree any problems of being over wet near the stem. There you are, Sophie. That's number two. <laughs> now, what are the other things? Once they're planted, what are the main things I should you know, be doing? You've already put your fertiliser in. You've given protection. So there's really not much more that you need to do or worry about it. OK. And how often after that should I be feeding? Monthly, using pelletised chicken manure with additives, just the, the normal 14 elements that go towards a complete fertiliser. So by putting fertiliser on every month, we allow the plant to take its feeding when it wants it. Well, it's been a long, hot day and I've got a lot more planning to do. But I'm just going to take a break for Ian and I to enjoy a long, cool drink. It's not long before the orange juice I'll be drinking will be from my own citrus grove. <laughs>